gentrification in Melbourne. Gentrification is a natural economic change. Many suburbs within metropolitan Melbourne are evolving and changing their identity. Many suburbs have done a full 360 degree turn while some continue to retain their heritage vibes. Gentrification in Melbourne is occurring for many, many reasons. It can be due to the increasing population, an influx of more affluent residences and businesses, or from property developers creating new architectural designs such as apartments and townhouse living. Gentrification can potentially increase the value of your property. Once a suburb experiences it, it can turn an undeveloped suburb into a highly desired place to live. As this occurs, both rent and capital growth can increase above market returns. However, gentrification can also cause some residential disruption. This is often seen when younger adults start to occupy the area, leaving some older residents a little nervous or unsettled. Some examples of suburbs in metropolitan Melbourne that have experienced gentrification are Altona, once just an industry outlet filled with distribution centres, Altona has transitioned into a well-connected residential suburb just 13 kilometres west or southwest of the Melbourne CBD. Box Hill, once a standard residential location, Box Hill has now become Melbourne's largest Chinese population. Box Hill is the largest city outside the Melbourne CBD. Located less than 15 kilometres east of the city, over 60% of residents are either born in China or within the Chinese ancestry. This dynamic location is well linked to major transport hubs including trains, buses and tram junctions. Many higher education facilities and two major hospitals have seen plenty of developer support to build many high-rise apartments. The Docklands, a suburb originally swamped land in the 1880s, became a bustling dock area. It has now turned into a city sensation with many high-rise apartments overlooking the water and city skyline. There are some incredible world-class restaurants and retail outlets that have attracted tourists all over the globe. One other example is Footscray. Historically developed as a warehouse and distribution centre, it had little in the way of parks and amenities. Many years ago, the suburb was perceived as a rough neighbourhood. In recent times, developers have introduced modern apartments overlooking the Maribyrnong River and architecturally designing townhouses that brought on the urban living Footscray has seen today. Cafes, bars, clubs and restaurants have given Footscray a whole new name. Gentrification doesn't always happen inside larger cities with vibrant economies. Ballarat is an old regional town 110 kilometres from the Melbourne CBD. Once a country town that experienced a world-renowned gold rush in the 1800s, Ballarat saw their population increase to approximately 50,000. In recent decades, many farms have been sold to build more housing estates, which will see Ballarat's population increase to 144,000 by 2030, boosting the second largest population in Victoria. The area has grown um, significantly over the last 100 years with many great schools, shops, businesses and tourist attractions. Future gentrification in Melbourne. Some locations in Melbourne where we anticipate significant gentrification are places further north and west of Melbourne. Suburbs in the north include Beveridge, Donnybrook, Sunbury and Wallert to name a few. Suburbs in the west include Geelong, Werribee and Windenvale. Neighbourhoods experience gentrification when an influx of investment and change to the, to the built environment leads to rising home values, family incomes and educational levels of residences. The suburbs mentioned above in the north and the west have had large sums of money from both local and state governments as well as private and company investment. When looking to buy a property, regardless if it's to occupy or invest, you should pay attention to the cultural and gentrification. If you'd like to purchase a brand new or off the plan property, please feel free to contact us. We specialise in sourcing properties for buyers and welcome the opportunity to help. If you'd like to learn more about what we do and how we do approach our research to help clients purchase the right property, feel free to visit our website at www.crestproperty.net.au. Thanks for listening.